Okay, so this is the grocery haul. We got this variety pack of tomatoes. We are going to be able to actually plant our tomatoes within the next two weeks here, and I can't wait. We are so ready for fresh garden tomatoes, but um, this pack looked pretty good, so we thought we'd go for that. I got two bunches of uh, radishes, and one thing I would tell you is when you're gonna store these, if you're not gonna prep your radishes ahead of time, um, I would take off all of these leaves. These leaves will tend to rot a lot quicker than the actual radish themselves. So if you're gonna do like your meal prep later on, um, just peel, like just rip all these off. Now when I prep my radishes, what I do is I wash them, I cut off the ends and then I'll either quarter them or half them um, and then I put them in a container of water and stick them in the fridge and that will keep them crisp and it will keep them fresh much much longer so that's what I do with radishes. Um, we got a cantaloupe, a red onion, a lime, uh, some garlic, this is good Canadian garlic, and we got two bunches of green onions and then we got three of these apples, these are actually called opal apples. And I'd never seen them before, um, and so the kids were excited to give them a try. So we got three of those. Um, Shane picked up this pack of anapasto meat. So there's prosciutto, um, salami, and then copa di parma. <laughs> um, and we also got this free from um, hot dogs, free from all the yucky stuff. Um, and then we also got some goat's milk cheese. This is so good in salads or in um, savory dishes. I love goat's, goat's milk cheese. And I just got a couple frozen things. Um, some peas. Colt loves peas, so made sure to get these for him. And then um, this is a blend of cauliflower and broccoli. We also got some cheese strings. And then my husband went over and I asked him to get a pound of ham deli meat and for some reason there's two pounds here so um, we definitely could have went away with one pound but there's two so I'll have to get creative with that um, and then I got two cans of pears packed in water I like to just have some uh, canned fruit on hand um, when things aren't really in season or if we run out of fruit and we're not going to the grocery store um, I got two boxes of Kraft Dinner. Kraft Dinner is my kid's favorite, and we haven't had it in a long time. Well, they haven't, I guess I should say. Um, and Shane's going away this weekend, so I tend to like to make something that um, nobody else in my family will eat, something that I just really love to eat. And when I do that, like when he's gone, um, I make that for the kids because it's just super easy. And because it's late tonight, I'm going to make them a box tonight as well because... I have so many groceries to get through and dishes to do and all kinds of things. We've been gone all day, so that is a quick dinner for them for tonight. Um, I got two jars of this marinara sauce. I love this stuff. It is so good. It has no added sugar, um, and it, the flavor is amazing. And then I also got two bottles of the sugar-free Heinz ketchup. So these little things were just an impulse purchase. However, Aubrey has asked if we could get Nutella and they were sampling it at Costco and it was um, just the Kirkland brand but it's just like a huge container and I just was like no. So to just kind of satisfy that and as a little treat we got these little on the go um, things and they can have those this weekend. We also got some pretzels. Um, they picked out uh, white cheddar and rosemary flavored crackers. I got two water enhancers, lemonade and fruit punch. I got two ba bags of spices. This is um, nutmeg. And this was, um, because this was in the international aisle, it was actually cheaper to get this bag than it was to buy them just with all of the regular spices. I tend to like to get... Um, my spices at the bulk food store, but nutmeg is always really expensive there. And this was um, this was four dollars, but um, it was much cheaper than it was in the spice aisle. And for what I can get it at the bulk store, like I'm not kidding, I paid like ten dollars one time for like this amount, like crazy. Um, and then I grabbed some parsley flakes too. These were like a buck, and I was out. I wanted to make some um, ranch dressing. And then lastly, at the grocery store for the food portion, we got this um, whole wheat all-purpose flour. I like this brand because it's a Canadian brand. Um, there's no preservatives. Um, it's a source of fiber, non-GMO, and it's 
it's bleach free and those things are important to me. Someday I'd love to grind my own wheat, but um, I am having trouble finding a source for wheat berries in Canada. So if you know of a source that you know, like, and trust, let me know because um, I definitely want to do that at some point. So this is the food portion. And then I'll go ahead and I will share with you all of the stuff that we got. Okay, so here is the stuff portion of our grocery haul. So first of all, I picked up um, another bottle of this L'Oreal Infallible um, Freshwear Foundation. I am in the shade Linen. And um, this is the second bottle that I am starting on. And I really, really, really like this foundation. Really great drugstore foundation. Um, I also picked up this Essence Mascara. I needed mascara and I have been using the Lash Paradise by L'Oreal and I'm just not the hugest fan of it. Um, so I decided to try some Essence. Um, some beauty YouTubers that I follow have used and love the Essence Mascara. However, I don't think I picked up the one that they usually get. Um, I looked at the tube and it's like one of those rubber tubes and I don't like those. So. I don't have a whole lot of high hopes for this. Um, it was $5, so hopefully it works okay. We'll see. Um, and then I got uh, a razor for myself and some of these cotton pads. I like to use these for the toner that I use for my skin, and I also use these to soak up um, my Scentsy Wax. Um, I got some shampoo and conditioner. I love this combination together. I tried this natural brand of shampoo and conditioner last time and I did not like it. Um, I needed, in fact, I have a whole lot of it left, but and I I'm just gonna use it on the kids. Um, I find that like sulfate-free sulfate shampoo, while it's really wonderful, I have sulfates in my hair because of the, um, uh, what do you call it, the, hairspray that I use um, and so because of that the natural sulfate free shampoo doesn't strip that out and so it just kind of tends to feel really gross after a while um, so I do need something with a sulfate to strip that out of my hair or to wash it out or whatever I don't know what it's doing but it feels a million times better so until I can find like a sulfate sulfate free hairspray that I like that's not too sticky um, I'm just gonna stick with this sort of combination, but anyways, there's my rant about that. I'm always, I, my hope is to move more into more natural products, but some stuff I just have not found a good alternative yet. Like makeup, it's just out of my budget to buy like really expensive, clean makeup, um, and shampoo. I just, I don't know. It's baby steps, y'all, baby steps. Um, we also got some Lysol hydrogen peroxide. So I mentioned that we have four puppies right now and they can tend to leave messes and um, I'm just not comfortable with some of the like natural cleaners that I have to make sure that like the floor is um, clean, like really clean um, from puppy messes. Let's put it that way. So um, this kills 99% 99.9% .9 of bacteria it is um, with hydrogen peroxide and I did look this up on the EWG website before and I don't think it was rated as bad as I thought it would be um, so anyways there's that okay so Costco we got um, a big pack of ground beef we got a two pack of bacon we got a big huge package package of mozzarella um, we also got some steaks. My husband and I are going to have a steak tonight for dinner. And we got a big tub of feta cheese. Actually, let me just tell you, this thing is right here, kind of blocking my way. Um, this is the Kirkland brand paper towels. We have got four puppies with us right now. Um, my husband's a professional dog trainer and puppies <laughs> can be messy. Um, and so we do a lot of cleaning cloths just for like regular cleaning up. But when it comes to puppy messes, we much prefer to have paper towels. So we did get uh, a big pack of these. Okay. Um, we also got these Parmesan petals. I love these in salads. Um, the kiddos wanted some chocolate milk, so we got that for them. And we got one of these um, half hams. And this is really good um, chopped up with like scrambled eggs or just even as a really quick dinner. This is actually already cooked, um, so you can eat it like 
not heat it up, um, which is kind of nice. But we just, you know, quickly heat it up in a pan. It's just a really super fast dinner. And um, we also got a two pack of sour cream, two heavy whipping creams, um, a pack of sausages. And we got avocados, um, bananas, a three pack of English cucumbers, and broccoli florets, um, a big pack of romaine lettuce. And we also got some spinach. My hubby was craving some cereal, so he got one of um, these. This is the, I can't read French, the Harvest Crunch Granola Cereal. And what's funny is I actually have it on my meal plan to make granola. So maybe I can just cross that off my list for this week since we've already got granola here. Um, and I'm doing my dishes. We got one butter, a two pack of cream cheese, and some nan bread. Okay, so we also got this big bag of tortilla chips and these individual um, Greek yogurt cups. We got a sample of these a couple weeks ago and we ended up getting one of these boxes and the kids love them. Um, they're the kind where you stir the fruit in. So for a long time, if you got all my grocery hauls, I usually just get the plain Kirkland brand Greek yogurt and then I sweeten it with honey um, and sometimes jam. But this was just a little bit easier. We weren't going through our Greek yogurt as much as we probably would have if it was already prepared. So we just got these a couple times. The cups are recyclable. Um, so, and the kids love them and Shane loves them too. So. Um, we also got two and a half dozen eggs. And then these shirts, um, my husband picked up, they were only $7. Um, so we got this dark blue one and then the light one. And then lastly at Costco, we got um, some mandarin orange sections in these little cups. So that is it for our Costco and our grocery haul. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.